Hi, Doug Stimmel with IT Creations. This week we'll be taking a look at HPE's ProLiant SL4540 Gen 8 rack server. It offers a highly efficient conversion infrastructure with power, cooling, networking, and storage supported at the chassis level. This server is purpose-built for big data applications and is ideal for data centers and enterprise deployments where space, power, and cooling requirements play a critical role in both cost and management. The SL4540 is a scale-out server that comes in three different chassis configurations to allow organizations to tailor their storage and computing for specific needs. Choose from either a single compute node with up to 60 storage devices, a two-node configuration with 50 drives split between the two, or a three-node configuration with 15 drives per node that support a balanced core to spindle ratio, ideal for Hadoop. This particular chassis is the SL4540 2x25 model. It has two compute nodes and is configured to support big data applications. Big data encompasses large data sets that when analyzed reveal patterns, trends, and associations typically in relation to human behavior. This is the kind of data that the big companies like Facebook, Google, and Yahoo rely on to monitor and respond to posts, purchases, reviews, queries, likes, and whatever else that makes up an individual's digital footprint. Oh yeah. Just a quick reminder, IT Creations offers a wide selection of HPE ProLiant servers, including the HPE ProLiant SL4540 Gen 8. For a limited time, you can save up to $500 on the purchase of a system valued at $5,000 or more. Click this link to view pricing, and when you're ready to purchase, just give us a call and mention this video. The Compute nodes feature Intel Xeon E5 2400 processor family with 4 to 8 cores, or the E5 2400 V2 product family with 4 to 10 cores. Up to two processors can be installed per node. Each processor supports three memory channels and six memory slots for 12 slots total in a two processor configuration. Only registered dual or single rank DDR3 memory modules are supported. Depending on your choice of processor, memory will operate at speeds of 1600, 1333, or 1066 megahertz respectively. Five hot plug fan modules provide cooling and the system is powered by up to four 750 watt or 1200 watt Platinum Plus power supplies. There are two SFF HDDs located on the front of each node that can be used for the OS to boot the system or for additional storage. Each node also has access to 25 of the 50 LFF drives supported on the chassis. Any mix of SAS and SATA HDDs and SSDs are supported in the chassis. The 2x25 model has a maximum storage capacity of 304 terabytes using 6 terabyte LFF drives in the chassis and 4 1 terabyte drives on the two nodes. The converged architecture helps minimize cable clutter and with shared cooling and power reduces power consumption and network complexity. A B120i SATA RAID controller located on the server node controls the two SFF drives on the front of the node. The other LFF storage devices located in the chassis are accessed by either dual P420i Gen 8 storage controllers or a single HPE H220 HBA. The chassis storage controllers are housed in the I.O. module located on the back of the system. At least one I.O. module is required per compute node, and in addition to the storage controllers, also supports the network controller. There are two different I.O. modules, one that supports one gigabit Ethernet ports only, and a second optional I.O. module that supports two one gigabit ports, a 10 gigabit Ethernet SFP+, and a 10 gigabit QSFP port that can support 40 gigabit per second data transfer speeds with an optional InfiniBand enablement kit. The I.O. module has a single PCIe 2.0 expansion slot dedicated to each server node, which can be used to install an optional HBA, I.O. accelerator, or external storage controllers with a storage mezzanine PCIe enablement kit. Graphics are provided by an integrated Matrox G200 video chip. To reduce downtime, all power supplies, fans, and storage devices are hot plug. Nodes are warm swap and should be powered down before removing. LEDs located all over the chassis provide insight on system health. There's also a drive display board that gives a quick overview of the chassis mounted storage devices for each compute node. On system management is provided by HPE's integrated lights out management engine, accessible through the management module located on the back of the system. The management engine features a comprehensive set of tools for deployment and lifecycle management. A shared port on the back of the management module provides local access to the ILO module. To manage the system remotely from a supported smartphone or mobile device, administrators can use the ILO mobile app. HPE Insight Management helps ensure maximum uptime with a comprehensive approach to the system software and firmware maintenance. There's also a few optional management features to help you get the most out of your investment. We hope you enjoyed our review of the SL4540 Gen 8 server. We included a few links in the description below if you're interested in seeing pricing or more information on this system. If you have any questions on this server or any other, post your comments in the section below. Like, subscribe, and comment. I'm Doug Stuman, and thanks for watching.